this up a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. Wow, Cage. I haven't felt like this since elementary school. Uh, so I'll read a few poems, I guess. They're short, some of them. Let's see, it's all. Uh, yeah. Sort of disorganized here. Tin house. Luggage, photograph, taxi, airline, and then secondhand oxygen, lungs full of you, and then land, land, ing, God or God above, from whence came to finally the softness of your navel. So, uh, I'm going to read a poem I wrote yesterday. It doesn't currently have a title, but it's not like untitled. <laughs> Although, you know, title pending. Um, yeah. Your veins are the manzanita tree. When the sun rises, I see your blood deepen with waking color. The clear sky, your eyes, your soul, a single cloud floating above the mountains, as if to say, I will cover you everywhere. Not as in smothering the fog long kissed away from the high Sierra forest, as in, I bury my face in a shirt you left in my state, breathing in your scent. We are all animals. With a foraging instinct, I bury your seed in the soil, awaiting your springtime blossom. All right, so I'll read one more poem, and uh, this is sort of pluggy, but I'm reading from a chapbook that I just put out. So if you want to help me, like, afford pants, you know, <laughs> talk to me after the reading, I'll be wearing these ridiculous jorts. This is a, this is a poem called uh, Tree Songs, and a, a line in it is from a poem by Christina Rossetti that's sort of been, like, going around the, uh, the USF poet scene. So um, I should shout that out. And a fiction writer wrote a really lovely prose piece. Uh, this poem is called Tree Songs, and it's really morbid, just to like set the mood. <laughs> when I am dead, my dearest, I want to be buried beneath the weeping willow in my great-grandparents' front yard. I want to be plucked out of the bark of it. Want my wooden marrow to grow a branch out of our family's tree. I want archaeologists to find me and exclaim, That is some Boo Radley shit! <laughs> While picking collarbone toys and fingernail knickknacks out of the piles at their feet, spilling like acorns in a summer rain, collecting in the grass because my body is a plaything and my memories are a playground. Amen. <laughs> Pick me apart like a prayer, a litany of saints sitting on tree branches, diving green carpets of leaves down towards the soil where I sleep. Saint Dreamer at dawn, scratching poems into his desk, plunging wood underneath his fingernails. Amen. The desolate saint heartache, which frightens the moon into hiding on the other side of the earth. Amen. The saint crashing wave chaser, saint cliff diver, holy tsunami surfer, nightmare gardener, the sleepy time martyr. A thief who stole his last glance of someone beautiful. Amen. When I am dead, my dearest, will you still live while I ferment in the soil of Northeast Ohio into a fine wine? Will you taste each glass full with a rueful gulp? To have called you future, my dearest, is to have lived it all. And now that I am not living and instead floating above that decaying city like a cloud over the ocean, I hesitate to speak in any way other than him. Will you sing? We are always singing here. When I am dead, my dearest, your widow will have survived me and my body, but not my history. That will remain by your side until the trees we become together. Will you know the prayers in my limbs you made love to well enough to sing them as I do now? Amen the time I grew wings and flew over the handlebars of my bicycle, and amen when gravity tightened its hold on my neck, and amen the stones in my elbow, amen the front door a gopher built to keep his kids from getting into trouble that snapped my clumsy ankle tendons like a piano string, amen the musical screams, amen the blood I left on a wooden box mom had planted trees in that I tripped over at our old house. Amen, Mom. Amen, Dad. Amen, my brother. But most of all, amen the body we share. 
Amen the eyes and right pinky toe. Amen our blood. Amen the sacrament of our name. When I am dead, my dearest, make sure if you are not singing for them that we are singing for you. You are never alone. Amen. When I am dead, my dearest, each capillary will explode pieces of me into the pollen, will fly off of a dandelion head, will simply snake out of the soil and crawl up the tree trunk where we carved our names. For now, my body is here. The body of the willow waits, and your body is somewhere on this earth, ear to the ground, but the rest of you above it listening for me. The music is playing. It is singing from the trees. Thank you.